in sustaining the masters in neuromuscular orthodontics as an official masters in Spain at the University Rome One in uh, Plana de Castellón. I'm also a member of ICMO, and I hope you join ICMO and you join my mastership in Spain too. Okay, um, I'm quite aware that uh, a lot of you have never heard of neuromuscular theory. So I'll try to make it as simple as possible. I'm quite sure that once you understand the basics, you will probably start having some interest. The problem is that the, the interest in neuromuscular theory um, has been very difficult in the last uh, 20 years because um, actually you have to have a little bit of, of, of knowledge and have to have a new way of thinking that is very functional, by the way. It has a lot to do with physiology, um, but it takes some time to learn. So people are not always willing to go through the courses and try to learn new things. They prefer holding on to the old things and, you know, and they keep going on like that. But maybe in the last four or five years, we've had some, we have a little change in the trend. Okay, I've been working as uh, an orthodontist from the late 1990s, and I started uh, with neuromuscular orthodontics, and I I tried to make it make it a distinct branch from the beginning. I've had uh, quite an experience also for TMJ problems, and I worked with a surgeon in plastic surgery and TMJ uh, uh, surgery in the hospital near me. Um, it's quite a big hospital. So I'm talking to you from a very far away place.